in this video tutorial, I will explain how we can use MuleSoft and we can uh, implement message flows to insert data into Oracle database. This video tutorial is part of a series of video tutorials on different uh, topics and dis different functionalities that are available in MuleSoft. And I will be explaining different uh, scenarios from the beginner to the advanced level for different concepts and topics that are available, how we can integrate different applications and how we can utilize different modules which are available in uh, MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio. So here is the scenario that we are going to implement as part of this video tutorial. Uh, in my previous tutorial, uh, which you can find in the suggestion box above, uh, I implemented a user uh, query scenario where uh, we, in, we created a uh, REST web service and client was able to retrieve details of any users from Oracle database uh, using that uh, REST service. And for that, we were, we, we were using uh, database query uh, component. And as a continuation of the series of the tutorials, in this scenario, we are going to see how we can use uh, database insert for Oracle database in which we will be creating a message flow. And uh, based on the message flow, we will be exposing a, a REST service with the post uh, verb. And in the post data, user will be able to send us uh, in XML format details of a user. And based on the data that we received in the post body, we will be uh, creating a required record in the database by inserting it using uh, database insert. And uh, finally, once data has been inserted into the database, we will be returning back a response message stating that uh, the user has been added successfully. As I mentioned that this is a continuation of the series of tutorials, so I will request you to please subscribe to the channel So if you haven't subscribed before, so that you are able to get latest videos when I upload. So as we have already explained the scenario, let's directly jump into the implementation part. So here is the database table in Oracle database that we will be using, a very simple table with the name users. And this table has three columns, user ID, which is a, a sequence generated column. So the value will be automatically uh, populated for this column. And we have username and user status column. This table is already populated with some records. So uh, in our tutorial, we will be implementing a service and then we will be adding additional records to the same table. I have already opened uh, MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio and uh, in the previous tutorial, uh, we created a project with the name user management tutorial. So in the same uh, project, we are going to add additional message flows. So I will just right click, I will choose new and I will choose this Mule configuration file. And that's name is uh, add user. So, it will create a new flow and in this flow we are going to implement uh, all the activities for our uh, scenario. So first thing that we need to do is to drop a listener in our uh, message flow as we are going to expose our service. And once it has been dropped, then we need to configure our listener. We already have the connection. Uh, let me show you the connection details. We have a connection on localhost port 8091. This was created as part of the previous tutorial to query the data from Oracle database. So we will uh, just make sure that this uh, connection is available and we have this port uh, available. And once it gives us a success message, then we will proceed. As you can see, we get test connection successful, which means that we can use this port. And uh, what we need to do in this scenario add user we have to specify the allowed method in this case it will be post so only method that we will allow for this uh, message flow is post and uh, user will be passing uh, data in the post body okay so this is what we need to do for the listener and after we have configured the listener we will proceed with the subsequent steps. It's still showing some error. So let me see. Yeah, we need to specify base path. I will specify base path as users. So that once client will call this service, they will be having local host as the host name colon 8091 slash users. And then in the body of the post request, they will be sending us the data. Another important thing that we can do for uh, from here is to specify the uh, metadata 
metadata will define what kind of data is going to be sent by the client so we will go into metadata and then we will click on this add metadata and for the output payload we will click on this edit button and here we are going to specify request payload it's already there yeah i already added so i will remove it and add it again so that you know all the steps so i will click on this plus button and i will name it as we can name it anything i will name it at request payload and create type now in the type i will choose xml as a client will be sending data in the form of an xml and here now we need to specify the schema that data that client will be sending will be based on certain schema i have already created a user schema so let me just click on this button and then i'll have to go to schema the schema is in my c drive this user schema dot xd and then you can see that it has already populated user with the name and status this is based on the elements which are available in the user schema the user schema is a simple schema where uh, we have only two elements name and status both string so we will just click on this select and then this will be the metadata for our receiver okay so once we have configured our receiver the next thing that we want to do is to insert data into the database we can add any loggers or any other activities in between if we want but for the sake of simplicity we will not do uh, any fancy things so in the database module we have this insert so we will uh, drag this and drop it to the message flow and for this insert now we are going to configure it and the first thing that we need to do is to configure the database connection we already have a database connection so let me go into the database connection which we created at, as part of our uh, previous tutorial and just confirm that the connection is successful or not and we can see its connection is successful basically it's pointing to a local express edition uh, schema with the name service name xc and it's on local host port 1521 so connection is successful so we will just click ok and we will go back to message flow uh, not this one we will go to add user okay so once we have configured the connection next important thing is to write the sql query so here we are going to write insert into users which is the name of table user underscore name you user underscore status and then we will write values and in the values we are going to specify colon user underscore name colon user underscore status so we are putting colon which means that we want these values to be populated dynamically using the input parameters so we will go to input parameters we will switch to expression mode and we will specify our parameters here the first parameter is user underscore name and we will specify the value for this payload dot user dot name and then we will write the second one user underscore status and for this one we will write payload dot user dot status so in this way both of these columns will be uh, filled uh, based on the inputs provided by the client in the request we will click on save and then what we need to do in this case after inserting the data into the database actually we are not going to consider any unhappy scenarios and we are not going to do any error handling as we want to keep the pro, uh, this uh, flow as simple as possible so we will assume only happy scenarios so after inserting into the database we just want to uh, return something back to the client so let me go to uh, transform message and drop this transform message activity here so here what we will do is that we will return back response in xml format so i will write uh, application slash xml and i will just mention message so there will be an xml where we will have one element with a name message and i will write data saved successfully you can do any other type of uh, transformations here for example you can 
uh, ideally in the real scenarios whenever you save something in database and if there is a requirement you can pass a reference to the client which can be the primary key in the database or anything else that is a unique identifier but for simplicity here we will just send a you know, hard coded message that data has been saved successfully so once we have done this now let's make sure that there is no error in the problems and we will just uh, load this uh, uh, project in the mule runtime and then we will go to uh, uh, any client like we can go to postman or we can use uh, any other client and send the request to the service so let's load this message flow it will take a bit of time and once it has been loaded then we will be able to see that in console and then uh, we will proceed with to, uh, towards our testing process we will click, say yes and now it will take a bit of time and then uh, we will start the testing so as you can see in the console that uh, deployment is completed and status is deployed so once we uh, are sure that status is deployed now we can proceed with the testing i have postman and in the postman i will create a new request of type post and here i will specify the url http localhost colon 8091 slash users and in the body i will have to specify the type as xml and based on the schema that we have this is one xml that i have created with the name let's make it tutorial spedia status active I will remove any additional elements and in this way we are going to pass this xml from the client side where we have a users uh, xml with two elements this is based on the schema that we generated so now with this let's try to send it and we should receive a response and let's see that response is received we see status 200 and messages that data is saved successfully. So let's go to database and confirm if this database uh, record has been added or not. So we go to table and we refresh it. And we can see a new record added. This record uh, with the username tutorialspedia and status active. So this is how we create message flows in our Mule Soft uh, AnyPoint Studio and then we can uh, save data in the database. In the next and subsequent uh, tutorials, I will be going towards more advanced topics and different other topics related to MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio. For this tutorial, I will conclude it here. If you have any questions or if you have anything which needs further clarity, feel free to comment below in the comments section. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are able to get all the videos from the channel.